Aloha, aloha, aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy to be connecting with you today. It's Thursday and it is the 8th of March and I'm coming to you live from Honolulu, Hawaii. It's uh, outside, it's cloudy, windy and a little bit rainy and it's cold. It's like you know 70 degrees here. We're so very, very spoiled, you know. So welcome, thank you for joining me today. I took a few days off <coughs> uh, Tuesday and Wednesday and um, took care of some very important responsibilities with, uh, with my family and the new business that we're doing. And so I am very grateful, let me get this good, very grateful for the opportunity to be back to connect with each and every one of you. So thank you for joining today. Uh, as with each live stream that I've been doing this last one and three quarter year, I like to touch on subjects that are real to life, but use spiritual wisdom to bring balance into our lives. Uh, for those that are new, maybe just tuning in for the first time, <clears throat> I share a lot of the wisdom from Dr. and Master Shah, who is a world-renowned healer. Um, and one of the things that he talks about is how soul is the boss, that when we align things to work with and for our soul, that we can have a far better and happier life. That includes removing pain, emotional pain, physical pain, all kinds of pain. There's actually ways to accomplish that. And so almost all of my live streams are dedicated towards that end, applying love and forgiveness, applying those things in our life that can assist us with um, releasing those things that are just not making us all that happy. So that's what you're going to expect. Today we're going to be focusing on gratitude, specifically, <clears throat> gratitude, uh, how do we lose it? And then how can we do things to gain it back? You can always tell when we're not in a place of gratitude because typically we're not happy during those times. And so that's a very good gauge. Uh, you want to uh, keep a closer eye on that. There are countless things to be grateful for and we'll discuss some of those things today. And there are countless reasons for um, complaining uh, so this will all be discussed a little bit today, how we lose them and how we can gain it. <clears throat> so thank you all for coming and thank you for clicking on the share button to let other people know about today's live stream. We're off to a little bit of a slow start compared to uh, normal, probably because I took a few days off and most people weren't sure if I was going to show up today. Jamie asked, do you ever get pissed off? Yes, I do. Um, unfortunately, more often than I would like to and more often that is um, good for my soul journey. But um, since I'm an old fart now, I'm over the half century mark, uh, you learn and you learn how to curb those things before and with, with the wisdom that I'll be sharing today, there are methods and ways in which um, we can curb them before they come out. Then of course there's those people that are really close to us. Uh, uh, typically they fall into the category of family members, loved ones, relationships that were in the close relationships. They have a, a way of triggering us and pushing our buttons and they can keep us out of gratitude as well. <clears throat> but there are ways around that also. So we'll talk about that today. Welcome Stephanie Grant. Let's see who else has joined us. Welcome um, Janice Crosby Carter. Aloha. Welcome Crane. And welcome Jamie Dodd. Welcome Greg Fisher, Fischel Sr. Welcome Bob Reed. And aloha and welcome to uh, Michelle. Welcome to Cynthia. Aloha and welcome to um, Jennifer Caress Smith, to uh, Monica. Welcome also to Elizabeth, to Janet, aloha, <coughs> to um, M. Dao Jong, and to Kat, Katie Kuypers, welcome. Welcome Tali, and aloha Erica. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for clicking on that share button. Today, so far, we only have 10 people. Right about now, we usually have 25, or at least 20. So uh, I think a lot of people are taking the day off. Or they're probably thinking that I have taken the day off. Got a sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. 
was curious as trying, do I cover up my microphone? Do I cover my mouth when I sneeze? I ended up doing a little bit between. I put my, my hand below my nose and sneezed that way and tried to cover the microphone. Ah, uh, the things you have to adjust to when you're on a, a live stream with a microphone. No, I'm not sick. Thank goodness. Just an allergy response. Where from? I'm not sure, actually. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and welcome to uh, Maria Crispy. Let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, while we allow Facebook to grab a few more souls. We use the Soul Light Soul Service hand position, placing our hands together. I'm going to drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. Welcome, Shakira. Welcome, Tim Flanagan. Thank you for joining today. And I will call in the beings of light and ask them to come to serve today to help us to release the blockages that inhibit us from having more gratitude. And you may join in with me. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source, all the angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters and ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, there are individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. Beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Ami Tofu, beloved Lingwei Sheng Shir Kuan Yin. We love you, honor you, respect you. I bow my head to each of you. <clears throat> we, the, dear the soul of beloved Mother Earth, the star, the sun, the moon, all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes serving the planet of the light side. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all. I invite all of these souls as appropriate to please be present and ask them to please join each and every one to support us to clearing the blockages to gratitude to having more of it in our life thank you thank you thank you near the source soul song of love peace harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes we love you honor you respect you and invite you at this time <clears throat> to please come we invite you to turn on the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, and as we chant together, bless each and all humanity to clear our blockages, to love each other, <clears throat> and move into oneness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those that know the song, please chant with me. For those that do not, you may just receive the blessing, and this is a blessing, you can make a request. Let us connect, let us chant. Lu la lu la li Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la我爱我心和灵，我爱传染力，我爱平安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome also to Maria Crispy, welcome Shakira, welcome Tim Flanagan, welcome Becky Lafave, <coughs> welcome also from uh, Sharon Dodd and Missy Dodd, uh, welcome Divjo, uh, welcome also to Donna Bawana and Vanessa and Delma Montez says LPHWF, which stands for Love, Peace, Harmony, World, Family. Beautiful. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for clicking on the share button. Today, we're going to focus on gratitude. How do we lose it? How can we gain it back? Gratitude 
is something that I believe all of us can use more of. I definitely speak for myself. Uh, you, we all have our own personalities. We all have our own way of looking at things. I'm more on the serious side. I even have, you know, a crease on my forehead. My brows are furrowed too much. That crease actually came from a shovel. My, my brother clunked me in the head with it when I was a kid. But it stayed and it represents, you know, uh, not smiling enough. Gratitude is an internal smile. Gratitude is the fuel for a happy life. Gratitude is the fuel, F-U-E-L, fuel for flourishing in life. Gratitude is the fastest way to process through anything you're not enjoying. Gratitude is the fastest way to process through anything you're not enjoying. <clears throat> so when we are grateful, we are not in a place of pain. When we are grateful, we are not in a place of suffering. When we are grateful, we are <clears throat> aligned to our soul and to our Creator. Why is that? Gratitude is a place of recognition of all that is good instead of a focus on all those things that are other than good. It doesn't mean bad, it just means other than good. And if we collectively and you individually look at our life <laughs> with gratitude, it's very likely we'd be far happier as a whole. A good half of you have come across this live stream and continue to come back because <clears throat> it's filled with soul wisdom that brings value to our life. And yet, life is truly how we look at it, truly how we choose to react and respond and perceive it. There are people I have come across in my life that walk through life with a 9 on a 10 scale pain. They're, they're just aching all over. 9 on a 10 scale, they go to, they're awake. 9 on a 10 scale, when they go to sleep. And I, these people are grateful. They smile. They joke. They, um, they, they're wincing in pain. You can see their eyebrows furrowed in physical pain. And yet they're still jovial. They have made a choice to make lemons out of lemonade, make lemonade out of lemons, <clears throat> so to speak. There are others who have plenty of money. They have two nice cars, a beautiful garage with many nice toys in it that they bought years ago that cost hundreds of dollars that ended up in the garage. Um, they have a church they go to and people love them and they have a family with kids and they have parents and they're not happy. They complain a lot. So there are both sides. So why is that? It's all about perspective, isn't it? It's all about how we choose to bring ourselves to the conditions that are in front of us. That's what it boils down to. Gratitude is the fuel of happiness. When we choose to be grateful, and the mistake people make is that they default to the obvious. But gratitude is like a walking meditation. It requires consciousness. It requires a permanent choice. Do you think the person that's in a 9 out of 10 pain is not consciously choosing 
to be in a place of gratitude, huh, that requires 100% consciousness to be in that place. It is the person that is speaking and spewing, literally, their misery upon others, <clears throat> complaining, texting complaining, um, writing letters of complaint to the editors, complaining on the phone to their friends, complaining at the water cooler at work. These are the people that just do not appreciate all that they have. That could be right in front of them. The fact that they can stand at the water cooler and front, instead of being in a wheelchair in front of that water cooler is something to be grateful for. And this is what I mean about we default to so many things that um, are automatic in many cases. Gratitude requires consciousness. And literally, as I look around the room I'm in, I can spout off 20, 50 things to be grateful for because I stopped and became conscious and looked. But if I smelled, how many things can I be grateful for there? You know, it's not a conversation about me, but as an example, I lost my sense of smell for five years. I walked through a fish market in Korea and on one row of this market was literally a, a two foot tall pile of garlic. I'd never seen so much garlic in my life. And it went along two 10 foot long tables. Imagine that, a two foot pile, and it was peeled. And on the other side was fresh fish being slapped up on the fish tables, cut, played. Do you know I could not smell anything? So when I could smell a little bit here and a little bit there, including the trash dump outside, I was so grateful. I could smell poop. It was the most amazing thing ever. What are we grateful for? It needs to often be the things that we do not pay attention to. Welcome Chase Piscina, welcome Kristen Thorson, welcome Crystal Valencia, welcome Heather Houston, welcome also to um, Lisa Carter, NNC, welcome Ed Huber, and welcome Monica, <coughs> uh, excuse me, um, Michelle McDoon. And Monica's mom. Welcome, Monica's mom. My mom. She's, she's kind of my mom, too, because I've adopted her. She's kind of adopted me. So, um, gratitude, the key is looking around. So, everybody right now, I want you to look in your environment. I want you to state three things that you have not ever mentioned a gratitude towards. Look around your environment. Three things you have not ever mentioned a gratitude towards. Try to find one thing physical. Try to find one thing visual. Okay? Try to find one thing emotional. It's a practice. I will wait. I will do my homework too. Mm. Found one. Found two. Yeah. Okay. So mine, as I move my eyes around the room. Uh, I, there, I have a calligraphy on my wall. I don't, I, I, I don't really offer it gratitude, and yet, that's one of the, one of the worst sins I can think of because it delivers so much virtue and so much blessings. I don't offer it enough gratitude. Uh, another thing for me was, I have uh, some cracks on my feet, physical, and they're feeling better now. I'm grateful for that. <clears throat> and another thing was, I, I saw a vacuum over here. I said, wow, I'm so grateful that not only do I own a vacuum, I have an arm, arm free of pain, that I can move it back and forth, and that I can walk, and I don't have to call somebody, hire somebody to do this for me. There's many people that can't do that. They have to call somebody to ask them to do it for them and have to pay for that. So I can be grateful that I don't have to pay for that. That's an example. I want to read yours. 
So keep writing. I want to read yours. Uh, welcome, Della. Jamie Dodd says she's grateful for her animals. She's grateful for her plants. She's grateful for her dishes. What about them are you grateful for? Why are you grateful for your animals? What did they do for you? Why are you grateful for your plants? What do they do for you? Why are you grateful for your dishes? What do they do for you? I want you to go into this a little bit more. <clears throat> I'm grateful for my vacuum because it allows me to clean my house. Uh, I'm grateful for my body allows me to, to move it. I'm grateful for uh, my, my calligraphy because it helps me to bring healing to others and save people's lives. So go deeper. Lisa Carter, so grateful to be here. Why? Becky LaFave, electricity, air, and she can breathe. The phone to watch me. Why are you grateful for the electricity? Why are you grateful for the air that you breathe? Go deeper. Only two comments, three or four comments, not enough. There's 22 of you. I want to see your comments. Donna Moana, I'm grateful for my two cats. They give me unconditional love. Yes. Welcome, Catherine O'Shea. <clears throat> Monica says her stomach is feeling better. She's grateful for that. Her Master Shaw book, she's grateful for them. They've changed her life. And she's grateful to her mama for giving her life. Vanessa says grateful for her dogs, her worn blankets, and her worn ripped curtains. Why? Janet says she's grateful for the electricity because she did not have it for three days. Mm. Yeah. And so you did not have it for three days. And so that provides a lot of gratitude. Gratitude for the refrigerator for keeping your cold, uh, your food cold. Gratitude to the electric stove for being able to cook for you. Gratitude for the light so that you could walk through the house without stubbing your toes. So many different ways you can go with electricity. When we are grateful for these things, I bet during that time, Janet, um, there was a lot of, of frustration and maybe anger and uh, irritation and um, emotions of um, disappointment and uh, a variety of things going on. But there probably wasn't during those three days gratitude for all those things that were being missed. And this is a consciousness. This is the key. In order to shift, we have to be conscious in these ways because when we are conscious in these ways, we are, I want you to listen to this very carefully, we are manifesting a better life. Literally manifesting a better life because gratitude is the fuel for love. Gratitude is the fuel for a better life. Gratitude is the fuel that changes our future. One, two, three days a week in front of us. When we stay consciously, look consciously for the silver lining, so to speak, and the negatives, like in the three days without electricity, when we spend time looking for those, teach our children to respond in this way. What are we doing? We are manifesting a healthier, happier future. If we focus on the negatives and complainings and then and then and what do you think you're manifesting in your future? Right? Jamie says they gave her love, comfort, and health. She's speaking about her plants, her animals, and her dishes. Good. So when we're washing dishes, I'm so grateful to you. You have supported the food that has allowed me to be nourished. I'm so grateful for you because you provide sanitary conditions in which I can safely eat this food. I'm so grateful to the soap and the dish sponge, for without them I would be washing with water that might otherwise not be as clean as I'd like it to be. This allows me to have health and safety for me and my children. You can literally find gratitude in anything if you bring your consciousness to it. Janet says, grateful for her pain is gone from the weekend. Good. Kristen, she's grateful for me, grateful for unconditional service, and grateful for her son. Wonderful. Why? Jamie says, yes. Welcome, Carl. 
uh, Sharon Dodge is grateful to be alive and be blessed. Janet, gratitude for her husband for taking care of things. Her husband took care during the time of no electricity. Yes, that's going deeper. Welcome Seema. Welcome also to Candy Moreno. Welcome to Criselda. Welcome Kathy Arnold. <clears throat> okay. So let me offer a flow and then we're going to do a gratitude practice. Okay. So I'm going to ask Kevin for some more information on this subject matter. See if we get any additional enlightened information. Delma says, so grateful to be a believer. So her life isn't about buying and accomplishing. It's about loving and service. Beautiful. Great, great wisdom in sharing, Delma. So dear heaven, could you please borrow my mouth? Allow me to offer a teaching and wisdom on the subject of gratitude so that everyone watching, listening now and in the future can receive uh, this higher wisdom in such a way that it helps expand their consciousness and bring more gratitude into their life. We ask Kevin also for any blessings you wish to offer at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Prepare to receive. I suggest you close your eyes to receive this information. It will help. How? This is Kuan Yin. I have come to speak on this subject of gratitude. Do you understand that those that become saints and Buddhas, those that become enlightened, got there through this path. Gratitude is not only the fuel, it is the elixir of the gods. It is the pathway of releasing pain. When one is in gratitude, there is no room, there is no space for darkness to enter. When one has no problems in their life and they are in a place of gratitude, they are in fact helping all of humanity by stating that gratitude. For in the stating of that gratitude, they are in fact pulsing out a frequency of gratitude for others to align to. There could be literally in that neighborhood others who are in a space of non-gratitude that receive this pulse of someone in a different house on a different street. And because that one who was grateful for life pulsed this out, the other on a different street could shift and see the silver lining. Little is understood in humanity on the nature of one human upon another. This is a very important comprehension for gratitude is what allows an enlightened being to not only reach enlightenment, but maintain enlightenment. It is the person, as mentioned earlier, that is on a nine or 10 scale pain. That person that can remain in a place of love and gratitude is far more evolved than just about anyone on the planet. For that person, when they cross over, will have received the greatest wisdom of all. They will have offset far worse pain and possibly death by the choice of remaining in a positive place. For it was negativity, debt, if you will, that brought them that pain in the first place. And it is the positivity, the gratitude, that has allowed them to not be further suffered or loss of life. 
This goes to show you how important it is. Gratitude is the key to a happy and healthy life. And it starts with you. It then affects many. So be the emissary of the light. Be the one that not only catches yourself, but also one who offers assistance to others that they might choose to go a bit deeper in their understanding of this most important virtue and quality. <clears throat> I would like now to offer each of you a blessing so that you can receive my gratitude for your service to humanity. Prepare to receive so this is not me offering a blessing now, guys. Prepare to receive. Wong Mani Bama Wong Mani Bama Wong Mani Thank you, Kuan Yin. Thank you for that blessing. Thank you for that wisdom. Beautiful. So we have some new souls joining in. Welcome, Marisol. Welcome, Donnie. Welcome, Maria Joy. Welcome, Sanjita. And welcome also to uh, anyone else who have a name I might have missed. So hopefully you enjoyed that flow. The blessing was very nice, huh? Welcome also to Danta and Naomi Barman. You're welcome. Thank you, Kuan Yin. <clears throat> so now I'm going to walk you through a, a practice. It will include forgiveness and a practice of gratitude. So let us continue. Let's place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. For those that are new, that's a prayer position. And the right hand remains gently pointed towards heaven. The left hand goes over the heart center. This is a hand mudra position that allows us to connect heaven to our heart center. Let us close our eyes, <clears throat> and I will walk you through this practice. Please repeat if you are comfortable. Dear my beloved divine creator, dear my individual heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, dear all of the beings of light who have come to offer their service at this time, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name three times. I am humbled and honored to ask for your presence that I might receive your blessings. Please, as appropriate, bless me to remove blockages that inhibit me from being more grateful for all the different aspects of my life that I have been oblivious to, that I have not paid attention to, that I have ignored. Please bless me to clear 
the negative mindsets, beliefs, attitudes, and mind blocks that have disallowed me from seeing so many things that I have taken for granted. I am so very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to repeat. Dear the soul of my body, the soul of my fingers, my thumb, my hands, I love you so very much. I am so grateful for you. Please forgive me for not offering my gratitude to you. Without you, I cannot pick up a knife, fork, or spoon. Without you, my beloved fingers, I cannot easily hold a cup. Without you, my beloved fingers, thumb, and hand, I could not caress the face of my loved ones. I could not do my job at work. Without you, I would definitely not be able to make as easy a living as I have. Please forgive me for not honoring and respecting you with much deeper gratitude. You have been a life saver for me. You have allowed me to feel, touch, and to do so many things I have taken for granted. Please forgive me. I love you. I am so grateful for you. Dear the soul of my beloved eyes, I love you, honor you, am extremely, extremely grateful for you. Please forgive me for not honoring all that you have done for me. I have complained sometimes about my vision, about my glasses, about my contacts. I have not been grateful enough or at all. Without you, I could not see the beautiful colors of the sky, the ocean, and the scenery of the beautiful land God has given us. Without you, I could not have laid your beautiful essence upon my loved ones, my children, my parents, the ones that I have fallen in love with. Without you, my beloved eyes, I would not be able to see any colors at all. I would not be able to even see black or white. I would have nothing to register life with. I would have only the other senses. You have been one of the most important means for me to receive the essence of life. One of five ways in which I observe, judge, and bring myself to life is because of you. Without you, I could not make a living. Without you, I could do almost nothing. And I have taken you for granted and complained most of my life. Please forgive me, my beloved eyes. You are amazing. I am so very grateful for you. Dear my beloved stomach, intestines, large and small intestine, colon, the soul of my pancreas, my lungs, my gallbladder. Each and every one of you contribute to my digestion. Without you, I would have died a long time ago. Each and every one of you break down the sometimes very unpleasant, tainted, chemical foods that I put in my body and yet you take the beating as best as you can and you complain sometimes you give me pain sometimes and I whine and complain in return please forgive me for not honoring and respecting your incredible service you break down foods and create nutrients with junk you break down those nutrients and distribute it through my body. I am so sorry for not honoring and respecting you more with gratitude. I deeply apologize my lack of gratitude. I have abused you this entire life. I may not have given you any kinds of purification and cleanses. I may have only taken a few herbs here or there and thought I did a good job. When I could have truly done a full oil change for all of my organs and systems, including you, and felt much better. 
please forgive me my ignorance, my lack of gratitude for all that you do. Literally without you, I would be sick and I would be suffering so much more. I am so grateful for your unconditional service. Dear the sole of my back, my spinal cord, my neck, I know I have not offered you enough gratitude. You offer the conduit through which my spinal cord can deliver nerve. I can feel, I can feel the touch of the cheek. That cannot happen without the nerves that run through you. You offer the strength that allow me to stand straight, to do my job, to hold my children and my grandchildren. You offer me the ability to go from A to B. Without you, I would have nothing. You give me the ability to have a life, to not be stuck to a wheelchair. You give me the ability to turn my head and to see things from different directions. You give me the ability to turn my head so that my ears can hear better. You give me the ability to carry the messages from my brain through my body. And I have called you bad neck, bad back. I sincerely, sincerely apologize. From my heart, I ask forgiveness for not being grateful for all that you have done for me. Please forgive me. I love you so much for your unconditional service. That's an example of gratitude for the body. Let's go outside the body. To the soul of all of my relatives, all of my loved ones, including my children, my grandchildren, my parents, both mother and father, my brothers and sisters, all of them, my boyfriends, girlfriends, lovers, husbands, wives, all of them, including the divorced ones and the ones you have left behind. I love you, honor you, respect you all. Please forgive me all the times I have complained, judged, criticized, been irritated towards. I have not offered near enough gratitude. You have shown me love before we broke up. You have shown me great service by offering great wisdom to me, wisdom that has allowed me to make better choices moving forward. You have shown me great love, great experiences that are immeasurable and will be indelibly emblazoned on my mind and yet many times I complain you have given me insights that I would not have otherwise you have been there for me in many times when I have not appreciated it enough you have been there for me when I needed someone to move my belongings you brought the truck you have been there for me when I have needed shoulder to cry on. Even those that have left me, I have not offered you enough gratitude. I have just complained that you broke my heart. You gave me opportunities to grow, to become strong, to be self-sufficient. I have not offered you enough gratitude. You gave me opportunities to clear my karma with you. I have not given you enough gratitude. There are so many areas in which I can offer each and every one of you gratitude. Please forgive me my lack of vision and understanding. Please forgive me all of these years of complaining, of judging, of putting you down, of being critical. Please forgive me all these years of not seeing that you are a beautiful soul dealing with your karma and that you may have crossed paths with my life so that we could clear our karma collectively so that we could all move forward in love. Please forgive me. All of this time I have been completely unaware of all that you have done for me. Dear the soul of my boss, my co-workers, my business, and all those that I work with or for. 
<clears throat> Please forgive me all the times I have not been grateful for the money that you have helped me to make. The money that I have made has helped me to put a roof over my head to pay some of the other responsibilities that I have complained about. Please forgive me for not being grateful for the function that I have that you have allowed me to keep. <clears throat> Please forgive me to my co-workers for not being there for you sometimes in the way maybe you have been for me for not being grateful enough for you covering me on the sick days, for not being grateful enough for you teaching me those things that I needed to learn so that I could do my job better. Please forgive me for all the times I have said unpleasant things about you because I was unable to see any value of the good things you may have been doing. <clears throat> Dear and my boss, please forgive me for complaining about you. You are one of the most important roles in my life. You give me opportunity to clear karma. You give me opportunity to rise up and make more money if I do a good job. And yet, because you have been above me, I may have complained more than been grateful. Please forgive me. To the soul of my business, all the sources of my income as a self-employed person, Please forgive me all the complaints about preparing, all the complaints about getting things ready to make an income, all of the hardships that I have endured in making this business move forward or try to have success. <clears throat> you are just a universal servant and you're trying to do your best to help me. And yet I have often not been grateful enough for your service to me. Forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear the soul of beloved Mother Earth, the sun and the moon, the soul of the oceans, the clouds, the oxygen in the air. <clears throat> Dear the soul of all of the life, vegetarian and mammal life, fish life, that have given of their lives that I can have nourishment and sustain my life. Please forgive me for not being grateful enough when I sit down. Please forgive me for not pausing and offering my deepest gratitude that you would give your life that mine can be nourished and sustained. That was very, very kind of you. Please forgive me, Mother Earth, for not being grateful for the oxygen you provide, for the uh, carbon dioxide that allows me to feed the trees. Please forgive me for not being grateful for the water you provide. For without the food, the water, the air, I would have been dead a long time ago. Please remind me as I breathe to be more grateful. As I see to be more grateful. As I touch to be more grateful. Please bless me, Mother Earth, that I can be more grateful for all that you have done unconditionally to sustain my life, I deeply and sincerely apologize <clears throat> to you, beloved Mother Earth, to the sun, to the moon, to the stars, to the clouds, to the sky, to the waters, to the animals, to the plant life, for not honoring and appreciating you enough. I sincerely apologize my lack of awareness and consciousness. I will strive more each and every day to be more conscious and present and grateful. For I know now that any other focus does not bring forth a better future. I thank you to all of the souls that have come. I ask forgiveness once again. I ask all these souls to respectfully return. Gong Song, Gong Song. Gong song. How, how, how. So now everyone may return from this meditative practice. You don't have to meditate to be grateful. You don't have to go into this deep <clears throat> explanation to be grateful. You just need to go outside. You just need to sit in your room and look around. You just need to be conscious when you're doing those dishes, 
or feeding your pets or holding your children or grandchildren when you hear them screaming find something to be grateful for ah I'm so grateful my hearing works I can hear these children that will someday not be screaming they'll someday be breeding beautiful grandchildren for me having beautiful healthy lives I love that they have lungs and vocal cords with which to scream how blessed are my grandchildren it's all always perspective how do we bring our thoughts to the experience Kuan Yin stated in her flow that no one becomes an enlightened being without this gratitude all of those beings of light Jesus Kuan Yin Buddha all of them go through this we have a choice with how we bring ourselves to every condition how we do it is completely up to us I am grateful for heaven borrowing my mouth today to give you this wisdom for I can tell you it's not something that I've ever written down before and it's certainly not something that I practice even closely enough but in the speaking I am able to practice more and better in the sharing I'm able to remind myself as well and we can all be the expression of that energetic frequency that radiate out from our home to our neighbors and beyond because our love our gratitude always impacts those around us we are one so we can all make a bigger difference after today so I thank you all for coming I am grateful for your gratitude please forgive me for not receiving your gratitude uh, more often but I am truly grateful <clears throat> Criselda says thank you she feels so good you are welcome Criselda I feel good too heaven's been on top of my head this whole time they've been they're probably clearing all kinds of crud in here Monica says we needed that Lisa how deep thank you thank you welcome Tony Te. some of you came in a little bit late Janet she's so grateful for me thank you Janet I'm so grateful to receive that gratitude <laughs> you know this uh, that's a hard one for a lot of us to receive people's gratitude it's important very very important you don't receive that's ego thank you I'm so grateful to receive <clears throat> so thank you uh, also Sharon thank you NNC I hope this practice helps you to see that there are hundreds and hundreds of constant ways that we can be grateful and we can take something that is negative in that moment perceived as negative perceived as an irritant we can if we're conscious change it to be a positive if we can do this consistently we can definitely be happier and healthier throughout life you could probably remove those back pains neck pains and everything else that are painful in your life if you can maintain this trajectory okay so I'm grateful for your comments <coughs> uh, I look forward to <coughs> seeing you next week Monday is let's see 9 uh, 10 11 12 Monday is the 12th I believe I will be here I think I'm flying out Monday night or Tuesday I got it it's, I'm flying out on the 12th um, Tuesday I think that is so uh, I'll definitely be here Monday maybe maybe not Tuesday I got to check my schedule because I'm flying to Toronto I'll be with Master Shaw for about 10 days and then I'll come back on the 21st <clears throat> which I think that's a Thursday I'm not 100% sure on that either I'm never good with dates um, so forgive me if I'm gone for that period of time for those that are in my classes I will be doing those classes ongoing uh, as normal and uh, if otherwise I will see you on Monday so thank you thank you thank you love you love you love you all the beings of light divine Tao source beloved Kuan Yin Mother Earth all of the souls please respectfully return Mahalo have a great weekend everybody bye bye